Well, it is that time again, folks. This is Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you go to hamradioconcepts.com. Join the newsletter that's on the top of the page so you get an occasional email that says, hey, maybe you missed this. Notifications these days are scarce on YouTube. So last week we showed you something new from Bridgecom Systems that they had sent me, the Buddy. The Buddy is an FRS radio, a license-free service that anybody can use if you're in the hiking world or Jeep world or even your kids. Today we have the Echo. And the Echo is a GMRS radio, which is a licensed service. We can get to that in a second, but you're just buying the license. You're not doing a test like a ham radio license. So I call GMRS in between CB radio and ham radio. A lot of hams are on GMRS. A lot of people don't want to get into the ham scene like we do, but they want something that's a little more structured and professional to talk on. The Echo they came out with is just a basic GMRS radio for the need of what who those are asking for without all the complications. Because there are a lot of GMRS radios these days in the last, since I've started making GMRS videos, I think it was about a year and a half, two years ago, I started making GMRS videos because I've always been interested in it, but I didn't think others were. And now GMRS is exploding. China's making them, everybody's making them, and GMRS is a valuable service. I talk on the Fort Pierce repeater for GMRS all the time. And now that they have linking on GMRS, you can talk all the way up the East Coast of the United States if you want, or to other parts of the country over GMRS, kind of like you can do with D-Star, DMR, and such. Today, released today from Bridgecom, the Echo GMRS. I'm gonna give you a quick overview about this, show you what it is, and that it's very basic that almost anybody can buy a license on GMRS and use this radio between peers of themselves that are hiking or traveling or through a repeater if you really want to. So let's get into it right now on Ham Radio Concepts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So the Echo GMRS radio by Bridgecom, what could you expect if you buy this radio? Okay, well, let me give you three things. You know, I tried to make a list of what I think about this and reading this stuff on the internet. So first thing is, I think the most important is they say it's a extremely loud, clear, very clear speaker. That's a plus for me because I can't, I can't tell you how many times I've had a, uh, a different brand of radio, different manufacturer that's just not as loud for me in the vehicle when I'm talking. I gotta have it up to my ear, you know, the windows are open, I can't hear. Uh, if there's a lot of outdoor noise. We're gonna test this in a future video. We're gonna see if it really stands up to it. Front mic, front speaker. So, number one, clear audio. I think number two, it's PC programmable and it comes with the cable. So that's a plus there. Um, you know, a lot of GMRS repeaters and systems in Florida, at least that I know of, that I've been traveling around, all use different kinds of you know tones, PL tones, or CTCSS, or DCS, or whatever, and this is programmable on the PC. So without a screen and all that, it's very simple to enter what you need. But then you may say, well, what if you're out in the field and you need to you know program this out in the field because you stumble upon a repeater that you didn't know about? Well, I invite you to go to mygmrs.com and look at some of the GMRS repeaters that are out there in your area. And now they have linking, so you can get into a GMRS repeater near your house and talk all the way up or several states away, linked over GMRS. So I only see myself programming in what I need and that's it, okay? Number three, well, it's idiot proof. I mean, there, there's not a lot of, I mean, almost anybody can use this, okay? PTT button on the side, programmable button here, uh, probably another programmable button here. And it does have the same two pin Kenwood style on the side for additional speaker mics and accessories like what you can get here, the uh, super secret squirrel FBI type clear e earpiece thing because you don't want to look like a fool if you're afraid of what people think of when you're on the radio. <laughs> you can slip down to your shirt, put it in your ear, and you can monitor traffic or use it for public safety or whatever you're into that you would require GMRS. Now, again, GMRS does require a license. You can purchase it. It shows up in the mail and you get a call sign. My GMRS call sign is WRCU707. And I talk on the Fort Pierce repeater near me, which is linked on a Sunday night, East Coast net. They go all the way up and down the East Coast taking check-ins. 
pretty cool. I kind of think of it as in between CB and ham radio. For those who don't want to get into ham radio and those who want something a little more structured than CB, this is a really good in between here. So the cool thing about this too, like the Buddy FRS, drop in charger and it's chargeable on USB. So you could plug it into the brick that comes with it like this, or you could use one of those battery banks like I have. I can't find one now. I don't know what happened. Oh, here's one. Right here. All right. Plug it into a USB battery bank if you want to charge your radio. In the field, it's very easy to even charge this with those little five watt foldable solar panels. You put out in the sun and keep this thing charged all the time. If you're hiking or in the wilderness, search and rescue, whatever. Okay. And actually, I've been listening. There's a lot of companies using this. Um, I guess licensed companies are they're buying licenses and and uh, the cool thing about this is with GMRS, you can buy one license and your whole family is covered. So, of course, because I have WRCU 707, here's Michelle's current GMRS radio right here. It's a Ushan, okay? But she can, hey, she might have one of these now because I use my R Finder B1 on GMRS as well. But my license covers all my immediate family, okay? So if you have you and your wife and two kids, they're all covered. So you may use WRCU 707 stroke two slash three, whatever, unit four, whatever, okay? So that's cool about GMRS that you can do that, right? Um, let's see, the manual. Well, let's look at the battery first. So lithium ion battery, really stuck in this package. My gosh. That is a 2200 milliamp hour battery, okay? And it just clips right on the back, I imagine, like that. It's, you know, tight fit with a little button here. For the visually impaired hams or GMRS operators or even visually impaired radio operators in general, one. It's got the voice. Two, three. Okay. Four. So if you're visually impaired, you know what channel you're on if you're using this in the field. It's pre programmed. Okay. Um, and your belt clip, your little lanyard strap. All right, belt clip just slips on the back of this one, like that. And then you can use your thing here on the back of the radio and have your lanyard. Cool, so how does the manual look? Well, does it tell me what I need to know and get me in the ballpark? Well, it gives you, of course, all your standardized GMRS frequencies and tones. All right, so your Bridgecom Echo GMRS 2 radio is pre-programmed for 30 operating channels. Reason that's 30 is because you have one through seven, eight through two, uh, 22, and then 23 through 30, which are actually the repeater channels with the input and output. So it's got an offset automatically, which is defined by the GMRS, you know, um, um, you know, FCC guidelines and default PL tone is 141.3, all right? So it's very basic on using this because there's not much to know about it. High, low, Power setting, busy channel lockout, squelch, timeout, timer, scan, monitor. Um, it's got Vox on here, all the DCS and CTCS as privacy tones, a local alarm function, and battery saver. So anything you would expect for a little radio like this, most likely, would be in here. And they can be manipulated for power save and squelch and stuff on the computer as well. So what do I think about this radio? Why do I think, because when Bridgecom sent me these, to radios and I asked them, what is your reason for making this Bridgecom? And I had it in my head already, yes, there is a need for these. And some people say it may be rebranded or they may be you know, reinventing the wheels. Someone's already got a GMRS. Listen, Bridgecom also offers 100% full support on this, okay? I've met Daniel, I've met the guys at Hamfest. I'll see them again in Orlando. I hadn't seen them in a while. They weren't at Huntsville, I don't think, I don't remember. They might have been. I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night, but I've seen them at Dayton and Orlando. And you know, when they came out with the Anytone, they had Bridgecom University, and that was teaching them how to use DMR, people that were interested. Um, you know, Bridgecom is, listen, you can buy a radio just like this on Amazon, but when you have a problem, you're, you're not going to have anybody to, re, you know, react with other than people are selling it they're going to say well okay maybe we'll just return it send you another one or whatever because they don't know about it themselves they're just selling it bridgecom you know usually always somebody answers a phone and it will give you an idea of how to get this thing working if you're really stumped at that point so thank you for bridgecom for sending these now i'm going to put bridgecom up to the test here i am going to test 
this audio in a video alongside the FRS Buddy in the same video. We're gonna test the audio on this. Now, here's a disclaimer. I've already tested the audio myself, but I'm gonna do it again, and I want to see what you guys think and try to give you a real shot of what it sounds like when you're using something like this out in the field. And um, thanks BridgeCon for sending me this. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think about them. Don't thumbs up the, or thumbs down the video because of the product. Thumbs up about the effort of what I put into it. And give me a comment and ask a question. I'm sure BridgeCon will answer some of those in the comment section. 7-3 everybody, more videos are on the way. KJ4, YZI.